Well, I reviewed Bataan back in January. There was absolutely no way I wouldn't review the next Shah Rukh Khan action movie. Of course, I'm going to do that. And a lot of you guys have been asking for this review. And of course, I will deliver. And so without further ado, let's talk about this movie. So Jawan is the latest Shah Rukh Khan action movie. Already said that in the intro. This one was written and directed by Atli. And this is a film where... I walked in really blind. I knew absolutely nothing about it. And I'm going to try and make sure that you have the exact same experience that I did. A man is driven by a personal vendetta to rectify the wrongs in society while keeping a promise made years ago. He comes up against a monstrous outlaw with no fear who has caused extreme suffering to many. That's the brief summary that Google gives you of the film. It's also the first few minutes of the movie. And that should tell you everything you need to know about Jawan, is that there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. And I would recommend, like I said, not knowing any more beyond that basic premise and just go see the movie. Because, cutting to the chase here, go see the movie. I love Patan. I thought that was a really fun movie. I had a great time watching it in theaters and I recommended friends to check it out, family to check it out, and most of those people enjoyed it too. This one, Jawan, makes it feel like amateur hour. It makes it feel like that was a test run to what this movie is. Because this movie is insanely, insanely loud and crazy and it just goes to like 25 at the start of it. You know how things start at a certain level and then they rise up? This movie doesn't start like at a 10 or an 11, it's straight up 25 and it just builds from there. Shah Rukh Khan is a great Bollywood actor. This is something that has been known for many, many years. And he's been making a huge comeback recently. People are excited. I went to see a Patan with a big audience. I just saw Jawan with a big audience. And this is a massive audience, international audience, showing up to watch Shah Rukh Khan movies. This man's reach is big. And everybody in the theater, just like Patan, having a great time really going along with some of the really impressive action sequences on display. There's a few outstanding set pieces and you can really tell like they tried to be as creative as possible with some of them. I had a blast watching practically every second of this and that's a lot of seconds. This is a two hour and 45 minute long movie but it moves so so quickly you really do not feel the runtime at all. And it keeps you engaged consistently. Like, there's never a dull moment with this. Once it starts, it just keeps going. And it gives you a good amount of backstory to certain things that it makes you care about every character that you're seeing the you know most of on screen. You get enough to care about them and enough to follow along with how each character's motivation is working with the story. I thought the film did a really, really good job of that. It goes over the top and it's a little crazy, which I expect it to be. It's a film that absolutely has that kind of setting. Again, I can't talk about what it is until you see it, but there's so much going on in here that a little self-awareness is important. And I think the film is self-aware. It's very, very much in the know of what it's doing and it commits to that throughout. Which is another thing I love about a lot of action movies, especially like when you do it right. When you are committing to what you're doing, then it's always better because it just means like, you know what's up. And this is one of those movies where it absolutely knows what's up. The songs, the score, all, all of them really, really great. So it's beautifully shot too. Some really great cinematography in this one. Everybody in the supporting cast is also really, really good. There's a team of women that Shah Rukh Khan works with his character. Really, really great. You might be wondering why Shah Rukh Khan looks different in every poster of the film. There's so many different things going on. There is a reason why I'm being very vague about what this movie actually, you know, is. And I don't want to go too much into those details and I refuse to. And it's best that you try and avoid those as much as possible and kind of stay away from all of that on social media. The one thing that I will say about Jawan, which I think could have been a little better at times, was that there's a couple of moments where the tone gets a little inconsistent. There's one scene in particular where things are incredibly tense and it's a sort of race against time situation. It's like this thing has to happen right now or it's going to be very dangerous. And in the middle of all this, there's a bit of a break because a character gets involved and it's kind of like tongue-in-cheek and I get that I was just talking about self-aware earlier but it becomes like a comedic moment like the audience was sort of laughing along to it 
And I don't know if this is going to be something that, you know, if you're a general audience viewer, you're going to really care about, but it's one of those things which I like noticed and I was like, hmm. Yeah, we got to go back to the serious situation here. Like, can we, can we get back to that? There's also something in the movie, and this is not a flaw. There's also something which it feels like could lead to another story. I don't know what they're planning on doing. If there's going to be a sequel to this, I don't know. I mean, I'd take it happily. But there's at least one thing in here where I was like, hmm, could that, could that maybe make a next one? I don't know if it will, or if they'll just kind of leave that one as a, you know, thing that also was there and there. I don't know. I can't really specify what I'm talking about because, again, it involves discussing details and I don't want to give you guys that much. All I'm going to say is at the end of it is go see the movie. Just go check it out. Have a great time with it. Get your friends, get your family members, and just have a blast. It's a really fun action movie. It just knows exactly what it needs to be, commits to that bit wholeheartedly, and it's one of the more entertaining movie theater experiences that I've had all year. I had an absolute blast with Jawan, and I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Fully serious on that rating, I stand by what I said, just, just go see this film. I saw a few movies actually over the last day. I also saw The Nun 2 and A Haunting in Venice. Both of those I, I will talk about on the channel. The One of them, the embargo is not up yet. But for, until then, go see your one. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to more videos very, very soon. As always, if you like this, please do subscribe and I'll see you guys at the movies.